So, you just saw that there are more than one correct answers to the same program, right? Both work. If a program doesn't work, then we don't care. That's a bad program, clearly. But the question I want you to think about is, if two programs work, what makes one program better than the other? Question? Think about it. Let's look at one example you already saw, okay? There it is. Uh, four gems you have to collect. And you have to collect it in whatever way you want. You saw that at least two parts exist, right? Both these do the job. Do you remember which of them was shorter code? Right? Do you remember? The one on the right was 15 lines of code. The other was 18 lines of code. But with this, can you say which is a better program? Maybe we are tempted to say, hey, this is the better program because uh, shorter code must be better. Maybe the computer will run this faster. Maybe. But uh, just like in life, even with code, the reason to pick something is better is not just one thing, one reason. You'll, you'll have more than one reasons. Think about it, right? Even if you're walking from your home to school, uh, you might there might be one path that is the shortest path. If you're lazy, you'll take that. But there might be another path that's longer, but actually quicker, because maybe there's no traffic there. So you'll pick that, if that's what you care about. And maybe on a day that you are like, hey, you're in a nice, really nice mood, you wanna take a nice walk through a scenic, beautiful path with trees and nice uh, smelling flowers or, or something, then you'll pick that, right? So there are more than one factors. So what could those be in code? Uh, I'm going to do that by actually trying to create a square with code and talk about it. Yeah, let's jump to the coding screen. Here it is. I hope you can see it. Let me get rid of the code that I've already written. Now, don't worry too much about the details here, okay? I'm just going to walk through how I would write a square, draw a square, make computer draw a square. So move forward by 100 pixels is the first thing I would do. Now, what is this move forward by 100 pixels? If you haven't seen this, don't worry. I'm just moving forward by 100 tiny steps. The word pixel is just like a tiny step for now. Think about it that way. Um, now I want to turn left by 90 degrees. Again, if you don't know what 90 degrees is, don't worry. It just means you're, if you're facing straight, you're turning left now completely. That's what it means. And now if I do this, let me see if uh, this does the job that I expected. Uh, this is what I expected it to do. I expected it to, uh, let me become smaller so that you, know, you can actually see me. See the code that it just ran. Yeah, there it is. So what it did was, let, let, me, let me click on run again. Uh, what it did is, perfect. It went, draw, drew a line and turned left. Now I know if I do this again and again, I should get a square. So let me try that. Move forward again, turn left again. This part, this is the part where you should get bored in this video. Great. Now if I know if I most, more boringly do this two more times, I should get the answer. So let me do that really quickly. Ta -da. Ta -da. And then move forward again. This should get me there, no? Let's see. Done. I have a square, right? But now, what did I observe? What did you observe? Uh, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left. Like Clearly, there's something that's happening again and again, and we are lazy people, so as humans. So I'm going to go put a repeat block here. Now, you may have used this. If you haven't, it literally just, literally just does Repeat. It repeats whatever you put inside it some number of times. So I'm going to put all of this inside, but I know clearly I don't need all of this because I'm repeating it. I'm going to take all of this out. Now, why did I do this? I know that if I go straight, turn left, and if I do that four times, I should get the square. That's what I'm doing. Now, if I reset, let's check if that is true. Oh, it's true. Then I have a question for you. Right. The question I have for you is, uh, which of these two do you think is longer code? That's clearly this one. There's no, there's no, there's no doubt about it. But uh, which of these two do you think is um, better? If it's length of code that's the only factor, then this is better because shorter code may be better. Um, but I'm going to let you think about it. Which of these two do you think is easier to read? Once again, some of you may have thought this is easier to read because you don't know what a repeat block is. You don't like repeat blocks maybe. But if you do know what a repeat block is, then this is easier to read. Why? Do you remember computational thinking? We spoke about that's what you're really learning when you're learning coding. And one of the pieces of computational thinking is can you take a problem that looks big, but break it into simpler, smaller pieces, right? Now this code here actually breaks it into beautiful smaller piece, which is, hey, a square is just four straight lines drawn with one turn. It shows you that more clearly. So it's easier to read in that way. It's easier to understand. In some ways, it's also more beautiful because it's broken the problem down into simpler pieces. 
Now this also brings another question. Why should code be easier to read? I'm writing for the computer, how do I care? Now I had this when I was in school for sure. Uh, I'll never like want to write it in a beautiful way because I'm like, hey, computer doesn't care. But that's the question, one more question for you, which is do we write programs just for human, just for computers to read and do? Or also for human beings to read and understand? And as you learn more coding, you'll realize that a lot of times you're writing programs for other human beings as well. It's like an essay, it's like a poem. It can be beautiful. So with these two questions done, I have a third interesting question for you, which is which of these two do you think will take the computer longer to run? It has to do some, whatever you write the program, computer has to do it, right? So which of these two cases do you think the computer will take long, like more steps for the computer to do? Yeah, and uh, I know you, some of you may have picked this one, shorter code maybe runs faster. Some of you may have picked this, what's the answer here? The answer is that, look at this, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left, move forward. Right? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code over here, right? Over here, there's one, two, three, four lines of code. But if you dig, dig deeper, right, you move forward 100 pixels, then turn left 90. You're doing that four times. That's eight times, eight steps you're taking. But here, you're only taking seven steps. How did that happen? It happened because when you tried to repeat, you actually added an extra step. You went forward, turned left, then went forward again, turned left. And then if you notice there, you again went forward again and then turn left. Then you move forward and you stopped. But over here, you're doing one more turn left. Can you see that? You don't need to do that. Actually, the square was done. You just turned again for like, because that only then you can use a repeat block. Yeah, so actually this code runs faster. It has lesser steps than this one. Very, very mildly, one step less it has, but it still it matters. Now let's, let me ask you another question. Let's say that I now took that repeat block code. And what I did now is, on the top, I'm making it so that it's just the repeat blocks. But over here, I'm adding some new thing here. Can you see that? This thing called comments. What do you think that is? Have you ever used a comment block before? You probably have not, but it's the easiest of the coding blocks to learn because that's the block that you write just to communicate to other human beings. It's literally a comment and the computer ignores it. So here, what am I writing? This program draws a square of side 100 pixels. Why? If some human reads, oh, that's what you're doing. And this part inside the loop draws one side of the square. Makes it clearer, which is easier to read. This one's easier to read or this one? Even though this is longer, right? This is actually easier to read than this one, right? Because whoever comes into this, who is not you, can go, oh, that's what this person is doing. Which do you think takes uh, longer to run by the computer? Which has more number of steps? Both have equal number of steps. The computer just ignores the comment, right? Now, that's basically it for now, for now. Length of code, how easy it is to read, how human friendly, understandable it is to read. Those are two factors we thought. What was the third one? How many steps the computer has to run through to execute, it's called, to actually get the job done, which is called runtime. Great, so these are three variables. Are these the only three? How short the code, how easy it is to read, how quickly the computer runs it, there are more. I'm gonna give you a glimpse of it, we'll talk about it later. One is, let me pick which one, let's use this one. Reusability or modularity. Big words, all it means is if somebody wants to use your code tomorrow, how easy it is for you to do it. If you yourself wanna use it, how easy it is. Uh, you'll use things like functions, etc., to make that happen. There's another, which is storage. Maybe one program is very short, very easy to read, but needs a lot of memory. Uh, even in our previous case, the three examples, one of those programs needs memory more than the other one. Think about it. Uh, and the last one, of course, is beauty. A poem can be beautiful. An essay can be beautiful. Can a program be beautiful? Maybe sometimes you pick it because it's just, it's just beautiful to look at. And what makes a program beautiful? As we start coding more, maybe you'll have an answer to that. Your own answer to that. And on that note, thank you so much for your focus. I'm going to leave now. Bye-bye.